Good morning, you guys. Long time no vlog. I can't even remember the last time I picked up the vlog camera and chatted with you guys. So I figured I would just do a vlog. We're either just going to vlog today or we're going to do like a little week in my life. I have no idea where this vlog is going to go yet, but it's Monday. I went and hung out with uh, some friends last night, so I am tired. I went to bed, I think, at like 4 a.m. And it's Monday, and I usually do my solo date in the morning but i think we're gonna do that maybe tomorrow morning or another day during the week because i just have too many other things that i want to get done today and <laughs> i just don't have time and i am tired and all i want to do is sleep but i want to get some work done so maybe i can nap later and then we'll do our solo date another day this week but anyways made myself some breakfast i've been really really good with remembering to eat before I'm drinking my coffee and I've also been trying to wait to have my coffee rather than have it first thing having my greens every single morning really helps having like water first thing in my system plus like nutrients first thing in my system versus like waking up and immediately just reaching for my coffee I think that was also raising my cortisol a little bit too much in the mornings so I'm working on making sure that I'm eating a meal at least before my coffee or with my coffee so it's not just coffee and then I'm also making sure that I'm having something before having my coffee so I feel like I, my mood's been like a little bit more stable like my energy levels have been more stable throughout the day doing the method this way rather than just like coffee first thing so we have a Greek yogurt bowl and I add maple syrup as my sweetener and then I add wild blueberries and I have frozen cherries right now I was doing frozen pomegranate seeds and blueberries but then i ran out of both of those so i have wild blueberries wild blueberries are better i think they have more antioxidants like they have twice as many antioxidants in them than regular blueberries so i'm going to start buying those because they sell them at trader joe's and i don't know they're just like so fun i love adding frozen fruit into my yogurt bowl because it kind of like freezes the yogurt bowl too and it makes it like a little bit icy i don't want to say ice cream bowl in the morning but it's like that kind of like texture i don't know i love it i've been like so fixated on these for so long i've been filming um little morning routines over on tiktok pretty much every other morning i've been trying to like space it out so i don't get like too overwhelmed but that is what i just filmed this morning did a little like reset wash my or i need to wash my sheets put fresh sheets on um i realized i'm missing one pillowcase for like my white sheet set so I'm gonna have to wait till I wash my black sheets and then I'll put a new pillowcase on but I'm gonna sit here I have some work that needs to get done for my app today and I have a few um, workout reels and TikToks that I need to post if you guys didn't know I started a whole new TikTok account solely for all of my workouts and I also started a whole new Instagram account solely for all of my workouts which I shared a little bit in my in my fitness journey which i posted i think on like friday or saturday um so yeah i posted my whole fitness story went through all of that answered a bunch of questions for you guys um and i have now a separate instagram for all of my fitness stuff and i now have a separate tiktok for all of my fitness stuff so if you like all the fitness content that i have make sure you guys go follow that there will be a lot more posted there uh, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna get working on today. I'm gonna sit and edit this morning vlog that I filmed for TikTok really quick. This is, I've been doing like ASMR morning vlogs and then I'm also reposting them onto YouTube Shorts, but YouTube Shorts, you don't get to see like the whole thing because they only give you 60 seconds. Um, and some of them are like a little over a minute and some of them are like two minutes, but it's like chopping up all of the audio for the ASMR takes a little bit, but I like that I've been doing it on my computer rather than on my phone because it has been taking up so much storage on my phone. So I like I just need to do it on a different, like a different method. So I've been filming on my phone so I can also film YouTube stuff on my camera. And then I've been editing, he's sitting under my chair right now. I've been editing everything on my actual computer. So I feel like we're like starting to get into like a good groove, of like a good workflow this year mm -hmm. which i'm like kind of happy about okay i need to eat these because i like don't love when they're fully melted i kind of like when they're still like frozen so enjoy all right it's 10 30 now so far i have edited and uploaded the tiktok um asmr tiktok 
I uploaded it to TikTok, I uploaded it to YouTube Shorts, I uploaded a reel on my lifestyle, like my main Instagram page, which I've been like neglecting and I need to start posting more of my lifestyle content, so I'm going to start posting like the ASMR vlogs on my Instagram as well. Um, so I posted that on Instagram, I posted my get ready with me like makeup routine on shorts and on my Instagram and now I'm going to sit, I just airdropped all of the files because I've been recording all of my workouts on my little Sony camera because I love like the color combo of this for my workouts is perfect. Um, so I use that for filming all of my workouts and I just airdropped everything to my phone so I'm going to go on a cap cut on my phone now and piece everything together. I did like a functional full body workout, which I'm gonna also upload to shorts, to Instagram, and to my fitness TikTok. I'm trying to like keep up with uploading every single thing. Like as soon as I edit it and like go to upload it, I'm just making sure that I'm uploading it on every single platform that I'm also wanting to upload it on. So that way I don't get like behind on everything. <laughs> It's overwhelming, but I feel like as long as I like stay on top of it all, I think I like I'll be able to push out all the content that I'm wanting to. So that's where we're at. I'm gonna sit here and upload or and edit all of my gym stuff now. You guys, work days are probably so boring for you because uh, I'm still sitting at my desk. <laughs> I literally just finished uploading the workout to my Instagram. I need to upload it to TikTok which means I need to re-edit all of the text that goes into it. And then I'm gonna make myself some food and we're gonna go to the gym and I wanna hit legs. I wanna hit glutes and hamstrings really heavy and really hard today, so we're gonna take you guys along for that. But uh, I need to fuel myself before I do that because I've only had my yogurt bowl and it's 11.20. I still need to finish my coffee. We're slowly pushing through. Second breakfast has been made. I made some of the Trader Joe's pancake mix. It's the pumpkin one. I added in an egg and Greek yogurt and some vanilla protein powder for extra protein. And I also added in some chocolate chips. I love chocolate chip pancakes. They're so good. I'm going to sit here. I think find something to watch on YouTube because it's almost 12. We'll pick something to watch for a little while, eat, and then we're going to get ready for the gym. Totally forgot that this was still on. Okay, gym outfit is on. I have on this Vitality sports bra. I put on self tanner yesterday and I'm so happy because I was doing uh, like not form checks. You guys, am I good? <laughs> I was doing like um, flex checks. That's not the word. Anyways, I was so pale. It was like hard to see my muscle definition. So I think it's looking better today. Leggings are from Amazon. I just got four new pairs. I love these so much. They're such a fun color, but I feel like I can only really wear a white top with them, so I'm kind of limited on like top options, but anyways, they're very comfy. I have them in a size medium for all the ones that I got. I have them linked on my Instagram, but I will link them below and add them to my storefront under fitness for you guys. Um, and then this top is from Princess Polly. It's the only one that like kind of matches the blue. And then I have on my high top Converse. They need to be washed so badly. I think I need to wash all of my white shoes. Um, I haven't even updated you guys yet, uh, but I have a home gym now, which is so wild. So uh, I think the weights just got here. Well, let's go grab them, pull them in, and I'll kind of show you guys like the at-home gym setup that I have now. <laughs> I think I'm gonna grab an energy drink on the way to the gym today just because <laughs> it's one of those days. I'm just feeling it, really feeling it. Oh, I need a hair, or a hair clip. What have we got in here? Here we go. This is my go-to. Okay, so this is the home gym setup that we have in here now. We had to reorganize the whole living room. We're selling a bunch of furniture. I need to sell this and all the Poshmark stuff. Um, and I have two coffee tables that I need to sell. So if you're local, let me know. DM me on Instagram. I have literally almost every single piece of furniture in my bedroom I'm selling besides my bed. So if you're interested in any of it, send me a DM. Um, anyways, home gym setup. I'm so excited for this. We have a whole... Olympic barbell and then we have cables as well so many different workout options my brother and I spent like three or four hours getting all of this built came with a bench and then 
we do have like some dumbbells and we have like more dumbbells here we can like slowly build our collection but this would be like really awesome to have at home and we could do landmine stuff like this and then the plates just came in today so i have two of each of these um and they are pink which is so fun i am doing a um deal with this company in like multiple months so you guys will see that eventually but until then i'm so freaking excited to use these these are gonna be so fun we'll unbox these when i get back from the gym uh, but those were so heavy to get in okay 10 37 12 37 hello yeah let's uh let's go work out and get an energy drink because i need some I've been trying to get better at taking like progress videos and photos at the end of all of my workouts so I actually have something to like compare start and finish to because I feel like I don't have a lot of progress photos from the past and I wish I had taken more photos so I'm forcing myself to do that after every single workout and I was gonna do my 10 minutes of cardio but both of the treadmills were taken and our gym only has two treadmills and two stairmasters and I did not feel like doing stairs after destroying my quads today. I was gonna do glutes and hamstrings and then I started rolling out my hamstrings and I was like, mm, they're a little too sore. My quads weren't sore, so I changed it up. We're gonna do hamstrings later in the week. I'm glad that I went and got my workout in. I wanna run to the grocery store and get a few things, but I can't remember what I needed now. I know I need Greek yogurt for breakfast tomorrow. I was gonna go all the way to Trader Joe's, but I don't know if I wanna drive all the way over there, so I might just go to the regular grocery store and get some Greek yogurt and some more frozen fruit, and then I think we'll be good on everything that I like, kinda need. I think I need to start going to Costco to get my Greek yogurt because I go through it so quickly. It's such a good source of protein. You can add it in smoothies. I, you can add it in like pancakes. I added it in my pancakes this morning for extra protein. Um, you can make bagels with it. I do my yogurt bowls every single morning. You can make like high protein desserts with it. Like there's just so many things that you can do with Greek yogurt. There was so many options, but they were all definitely expensive. So the last and only one that I could find that was just like plain 0% um, milk fat was this like organic brand and it has 22 grams of protein in it. I was looking at all of the other ones because I was like, if they're all pretty much over $6, I might as well just get the one that has the most protein in it. All the other brands were like 15 or 16 or 17 grams of protein. This one had 22, so I just went with that one. But I think I'm going to go to Costco and start buying my Greek yogurt there. Because I swear I go through at least like two containers of it in a week now. 
because I just use it for so many different things. So I think it would just be more cost effective to get that at Costco from now on. I'm just trying to make the most of my budget and not spend over. We're, we're sticking to the budget this year. We're not spending outside of our means. Okay, well, let's make my protein shake. I don't think I've showed you guys in a vlog yet. So this is my current go-to protein shake, protein smoothie recipe. Some sort of frozen fruit. I do frozen mangoes. Some Greek yogurt. All right, next up we have some peanut butter. This is the unsalted one from Trader Joe's. cacao and then we're gonna add in some cinnamon as well I've just been doing ice and water for liquid before I add in my protein powder we're just gonna blend all of this up okay once that's blended then you're gonna add in your protein powder this is gonna keep it from getting like weird and fluffy in your protein shakes I use the vanilla protein from Clean Supplements. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit more water in there and then just blend it for like five more seconds. All right, and there we have it, our protein chocolate. It's the way that I'm so tired right now. I'm just like, I could so easily just I think I might lay down in bed and take a nap after the shower. The four hours of sleep is really getting to me. I can't, I can't do this to myself. I need sleep. Tomorrow, I will be sleeping in and tonight I will be going to bed early to make up for it. Okay, I attempted to nap, did not happen. Bentley was just like, he wanted in my room and then he wanted out of my room and then he wanted to be outside and then he wanted to be inside and then his ball got stuck under the, the cons it was just like back and forth and so i never ended up napping but anyways it's 7 p.m now and usually every monday i have been starting a new book and i finished my book that i was reading last week like really really early on in the week so i was kind of like trying to decide what book i wanted to read and start reading this week so i started reading um how to win friends and influence people this was like in august and i feel like the first part of the book for whatever reason was like really hard for me to get through so i'm just gonna continue on and we're gonna start on part two but i need to do the little math real quick to make sure that i'm like on track because i'm like my goal is to finish a book pretty much every sunday so essentially every seven days i want to like start a new book so i just need to make sure that like i'm reading enough pages every single night to keep up with that so let's see how many pages i need to read of this every single night in order to be on track for my book a week that's gonna be 52 books this year if i actually do it we'll see <laughs> okay 248 pages i've already read 51 pages so I have 197 pages left and we're going to divide that by 7 I literally only have to read 28 pages a day to be on track like that's it there's also let's see oh, okay so this isn't like chapter wise it like starts over chapter numbers in each part but I was only like literally one page in this, two pages into part two, and I never finished. So we're just going to start over this little section. Okay, I'm going to read my 28 pages. I also realized we never unboxed those weights today. So I'm either going to do that with you guys tomorrow, or we will unbox them in the next vlog. So make sure you're subscribed if you are not already. Uh, okay. I'm excited to like actually finish this because 
so many people have told me that this book is so good so i just i just want to sit down and actually read it so i'm gonna spend the next 30 minutes reading and i have my vibey youtube video going little background ambiance and i always use my hatch alarm to like turn on the light so i can read at night i have four different settings for my nighttime routine so i have this one on like basically there's no timer on it so i just press it anytime i need light which is like super nice because if i need light really quick i can just like tap it and it turns on and then if i tap it again it goes red and then that will stay on until i tap it again and then it'll turn on 30 minutes of like the red light with the 432 hertz frequency um and then it turns off after 30 minutes and then just goes straight into like white noise for the rest of the night until my alarm goes off the next morning so yeah i love that it's like a nice little reading light and i don't have to turn on like all of my lights i can just pop this on and then i sit here and read my book in perfect lighting okay we're gonna read now <laughs> 